Welcome to a lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines and planes. Lines are parallel if they are in the same plane or coplanar and do not intersect. Here we see two sets of parallel lines. And we can use this symbol here with two vertical bars to represent parallel lines. And then to mark parallel lines in a diagram we use arrows. So if we call this line L and this line M, this line P and this line Q, we can say that line L is parallel to line M and line P is parallel to line Q. Using arrows, we can identify parallel lines by putting one arrow on line L, one arrow on line M, showing those are parallel, and we could put two arrows on line P and two arrows on line Q to show those two lines are parallel. Notice that line L and line P have a different number of arrows, which indicates they're not parallel. Here's another look at two parallel lines. Notice they're slanted in the same direction and therefore have the same slope. And as long as the slopes of the lines stay the same, they remain parallel. Two lines are in the same plane, either intersect or they are parallel. Here are two examples of lines in the same plane that intersect. Notice they intersect in a single point. If the two lines intersect and form a right angle, which is a 90 degree angle, as we see in this example, the lines are called perpendicular. To show that this intersects in a right angle, we often put a little square here showing the right angle. So if this is line L and this is line M, we can state that line L is perpendicular to line M. And I included this figure here because I thought it was a pretty neat design formed by intersecting line segments. The last type of lines that we'll discuss are called skew lines. Skew lines are lines that are non-planar or not in the same plane and do not intersect. So at first appearance, these two lines look like they intersect, but they're not on the same plane. So if we rotate this, we can see they actually do not intersect. And therefore, these two lines are skew lines. They do not intersect, but they're not in the same plane. Now let's talk about planes. Two planes are parallel if they never intersect. So looking at this figure here, plane N is parallel to plane P. And if two planes are not parallel, they would intersect. And if they intersect and form a right angle, the two planes are perpendicular. So in this case, it looks like plane M is perpendicular to both plane N and plane P because this angle here looks like it's 90 degrees. Let's take a look at this in 3D. First, here's an example of two planes that are parallel. Notice they do not intersect. And here's an example of one plane intersecting two other planes. And if we look at this in the right angle, we can see that it does look like they intersect and form a right angle and therefore the purple plane is perpendicular to both the yellow plane and the green plane. Let's look at an example to review the main topics. Number one, using this figure here, we want to identify three pairs of parallel planes. What looks like the top and the bottom plane of this box would be parallel, Remember, one way to identify a plane is to use three points in the plane. So for the top plane, we use plane CDE. It's parallel to the bottom of the box, which we'll call plane ABH. Now the front and the back of the box would also be two parallel planes. So we'll say that plane ABC for the front is parallel to plane, we'll call it EFH for the back plane. 
And then for the left side and right side, we'll say plane ADE is parallel to plane BCF. Number two, identify two pairs of perpendicular planes. Well, if we use the plane on the right and the plane on the bottom, notice how they form a right angle here. Therefore, they're perpendicular, so we can say that plane ABH is perpendicular to plane BCF. And we could also use the front plane and the top plane because they form a right angle here. So we could say plane ABC is perpendicular to plane CDE. Number three, identify two pairs of skew lines. Remember, skew lines don't intersect, but are not in the same plane. So for example, if we take a look at the line passing through the points A and B, and the line passing through points C and F do not intersect and are not coplanar and therefore they're skew lines. As well as the line passing through the points C, D and the, and the line passing through A, G. We do have to be a little bit careful here because remember that line CF and line BH do not intersect, but they would be in the same plane and therefore they're not skew lines. I hope you found this helpful.